let's let it loose. Everybody down at Fraggle Rock. We funky ducks, we got poop on. Don't be late, it's time for taking stock. Things are pretty good. We're even friends with the gorge. Hey, pal. <laughs> uh, too tight, a little too tight. This year, I'm all about renewable energy. Ooh, let's pass this wind turbine and away we blow. Everybody grab onto something! Woo! Oh, dude, that wind was pretty scary. Mommy! This is the biggest bummer in a while. Because of the dust storm, we're completely out of radishes. Oh, no! This is the biggest bummer in a while. Rock has lost its way. I have no idea what to do. The winds are changing. Maybe we have to be flexible. What are these? The silly creatures call it a strawberry, but sweet radish is the scientific name. Oh. Whatever happens next, we're ready to face it together. Who wants to harmonize with me? Blooper! Huh? No. no. song alert. Yeah, there's <laughs> something spiritually familiar about it. Yeah. Streaming March 29th on Apple TV+. Plus. <laughs> Hello, everyone. My name is Heather Hurt. I am with the NRW, or Nerds Rule the World. How are you guys doing today? Good. We're Amazing. all nerds. Yeah. We love <laughs> the world. Yeah, yeah it's... <laughs> Turn heads and nerds, I hope. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Um, I'm here with three of the producers of the upcoming season of Fraggle Rock. Uh, on Apple TV, which premieres on April, on March. Wow, it's almost April. I'm just assuming it it's is, April it at this is. point. March, <laughs> on March 29th, uh, uh, start, excuse me, Fraggle Rock, Back to the Rock, because the old one, that one's unfortunately gone, but no, never forgotten. Uh, I, uh, to begin, guys, um, I'm going to start with you, John, uh, as both a Fraggle and a producer. Yes. Um, <laughs> tell me how, how, what new elements are y'all excited for the audience to see in this upcoming season versus what y'all got to do in the first one? Well, we really took what we heard back from the audience in the first season, which is yes, please, more. And we basically just said, let's make it even more epic this year in every way possible. So everything from the locations that the characters go to, the stories that the characters embark on, our guest stars, you know, Adam Lambert, Espa, uh, Catherine O'Hara, David Diggs, Brett Goldstein. I mean, you know, we really were like, we've got to bring the best talent this year. The music got plussed, everything. We just felt like, okay, everyone's on this journey with us. Let's take them even further on the adventure and so it was it was a year uh, a season I should say of of just how much further can we go and and what what uh, issues are kids and families dealing with that we need to address in the most fraggly way possible absolutely and that's something that um, that many of us Henson heads know is something that was so important to him it's uh, being honest and true, but still being positive and enlightening, uh, which is something that y'all did so well in the first season. And no spoilers, but I think y'all y'all hit pretty well in the second one. Thank you. Um, uh, talking, uh, Haley and Matt, I'll start with you, Haley. Uh, how do y'all though keep that type of, of tone? How, how do y'all put that in so well? Well, we're all a bunch. Of, we're all fans too of Henson. We're all a bunch of cornballs. I always say everything that we make is hope punk. You know, we make corny cool. Um, but I also think one of the things that we do is we meet families where they're at. We really look at modern audiences. I'll tell you what I'm a nerd about. I'm a nerd about being in touch with kids and families and what, you know, makes them happy, what makes them want to go out and live a better life together, to be closer to one another. So for this season, we, we asked uh, families all over the world, you know, what is the most important uh, issues in your life? And what came up was food insecurity, climate change, we were like, okay, let this is a, this is something they want to, you know, we don't have the answers, but at least we can give them some tools for conversation and give them a lot of hope. Hope is a big, big theme in this season. So I feel like that was so exciting for us to deliver. And that's definitely in the spirit of Jim Henson of wanting to make the world a better place and our places within it. So I feel like we really delivered it this season. Absolutely, Matt. Do you, can you add to that perfect answer? <laughs> yeah, I mean it's it's the the Jim Henson spirit of of collaboration, and there is so much there's so much checks and balances in it. You know, we have Dave Goals and Karen Prell, and there's just so many people who who have been with a part of the organization. Hallie's been a part of the John. I mean, 
So there, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of checks and balances, and then you know just taking the spirit of these big ideas and making them fun and silly and fraggly, like you know food insecurity and climate change are two pretty big ideas, but we took them and tried to do them in a fun way that felt very metaphorical and and fantasy. You know, Doc has uh, her her wind experiments, her renewable energy experiments going up in her lab, and then that affects Fraggle Rock and causes. Uh, this great radish shortage and uh, and just keeping it fun and light and but with something to think about and something hopeful. And we should probably say so so many elements of kids entertainment, family entertainment today is so cynical. You know, it's so mm. it's it's really kind of like the negative underbelly is a lot of the joke. And I think mm -hmm. you know the thing about Jim Henson was he was never cynical. And I think there was always this like irreverent like Hollywood calls it a hope punk and I love that phrase so much because it's true it is it's like it's the cool way to look and be positive and be hopeful at the future and I think that you know that that the season really came through is that these characters are in this challenge but they're going to get through it together and be hopeful about it and and that's something kids and families need right now is is something to be hopeful for and the the sort of the only argument that they ever really get in is about like who loves each other more you know <laughs> no I love you more yeah it's like the best argument ever yeah Thank you guys so much once again. Fraggle Rock, Back to the Rock season two premieres on Apple TV Plus on Friday, March 29th. Thank you guys and y'all have a wonderful day. Thank you.